Hello everybody and welcome to this very special episode of the New Artist Spotlight podcast. What's up? It's Origin Cross and welcome to a special edition of the New Artist Spotlight Quickfire 5. Where we're going to be going back and we're going to be asking all of the artists from season 3 since myself and Origin have taken over the podcast. Uh, what was the new instalment? The NAS Quickfire 5. So if you've listened to the podcast you'll know what this is about. Um, we're going to ask five questions to all the artists who didn't get the chance to participate in the Quick Fire Five, and we'll see what they've got to say. What's up, everyone? This is Ed Eagle with episode one. Hey, guys, this is Andres Watsili, and I was on episode two. G'day. I'm Cam from Crimson Discord, and I was on episode number three. Hi, this is Will Joy from episode four. Hi, this is Bernard from the Enrons, episode five. Oh, hi, this is Rod Fritz, episode six. Hi, this is Icon Dark, episode 7. Hello, it's Andrew from The Homeless Radio, episode 8. Hi, I'm Liz from Bad Scullions. I'm Lucas from Bad Scullions. And we participated in episode 9 of the podcast for New Artist Spotlight. Hi, this is the Nathaniel Hardy Project. Hi, this is Ya from episode 12. Now the rules of the Quick Fire 5, you've got 15 seconds maximum to answer every question. Any more than 15 seconds? And you're out. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Question one. Who is your favorite artist of all time? My favorite artist of all time are the Beatles, and they have been since I was a little kid. Queen. I'm gonna run the clock. Get up, watch. But you know, Aussie, I really have a soft spot for ACDC. Um, we love ABBA down here as well, they're really big, but number one band of all time would be the Beatles, Ringo. Well, I gotta go with Queen. The voice of Freddie Mercury is just amazing, and it, it always gives me shivers, so Queen definitely, yeah. My favourite band of all time is the Beatles, but they are absolutely brilliant. They've innovated so much in music. Um, throughout their career and uh, they have a lasting legacy all the way to the modern day. Oh geez, uh, yeah, a bit old school but definitely, definitely Elton John, yeah. Who's my favourite artist of all time? It varies but right now I'm going to go with Linkin Park. My favourite artists of all time are The Strokes, Slayer of the Woods and Arctic Monkeys. My favourite artist of all time would have to be Eminem right now, but tomorrow it just might be Tupac. My favorite artist of all time is Iron Maiden. Mm, my favorite is Black Sabbath. Oh, there's a lot. Um, System of a Down are up there. I think I'd probably, if I had to pick one, I'd probably have to go Pearl Jam. My favorite artist of all time is Curtis Mayfield. My favorite artist of all time is Prince. I think he's the king of music and he's an angel. Question two. What is your favorite song of all time? My favorite song of all time used to be a Beatles song, I Am The Walrus, but over the last 10 years or so, it has become Paranoid Android by Radiohead, which has pretty much everything I love in music all in one song. Um, I don't have a favorite song. I do have a consistent top five. If I had to choose today, I would say Queen's um, The March of the Black Queen or Genesis Dancing with the Moonlit Night. I really have a soft spot for Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Do not judge me. Love Salt and Swing, but number one song of all time would be You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. Hmm. Good question. At the moment, might be In Excess, Mystify. I just love Michael Hutchins. Love him. Phantom of the Opera by Iron Maiden. It's an absolutely frenetic start. Amazing energy of the start. Kind of transforms halfway through into an epic guitar solo and uh, then ends up again being a completely crazed out uh, blast of a metal. Probably Hallelujah performed by Jeff Buckley. What is my favourite song of all time? Uh, Maggot Brain by Funkadelic. My favourite song is Ice of the Vault by The Strokes. My favourite song of all time, actually, is Lorena McKennett, The Mystic's Dream. The song is um, Master of Puppets. I think if I had to, I might go Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel. Big anthem. Love that sort of um, high emotion track. 
My favorite song of all time is Savoir Faire by Chic. My favorite song of all time is Added Up by Violent Femmes, which I actually love to sing and cover myself. My favorite song of all time is Can't See Me by Tupac, but it's really a four-way tie. We won't talk about the rest. Question three is what is your favorite album of all time? My favorite album of all time is The Beatles' Abbey Road. I've been falling asleep to that album since I was a little kid, and I still listen to it at least once a month. It varies. Um, today I would say Selling England by the Pound by Genesis. Number one album would be Back in Black. It's got ACDC's best singles. Uh, it's nine out of ten magnificent songs. It, it's an example of uh, how to make an album. Well, if I didn't pick NXS's Mystify just now, I would say NXS's Kick album, but I have to go with ACDC Back in Black. Wildflowers by Tom Petty it has a combination of longing and hope and melancholy that I really like. And I think uh, I try and put that kind of same attitude into to my own songwriting. So. Well, I guess I grew up in the 70s, 80s. One, one album that really stood out was War of the Worlds. Um, yeah, Orson Welles type story. Uh, my favorite album of all time, Prince, Sign of the Times. It is hard for me to choose my favorite album because actually there are a lot of them. So probably the greatest one for me is First Impressions of Earth by The Strokes. Um, for one that is brilliant from start to finish, I'll go Permission to Land by The Darkness. My favorite album of all time is probably Peace of Mind by Iron Maiden. Mm, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. My favorite album of all time would have to be All Eyes On Me by Tupac, but it's right up there with Marshall Mathers LP 2 by Eminem and Coloring Book by Chance the Rapper, even though that's technically a mixtape. My favorite album of all time is Say Chic. My favorite album of all time is either the Virgin Suicide soundtrack by Air or Doolittle by Pixies. Question four. What is your favorite song off of the NAS playlist? This is a tough one, obviously, for me, but I will say, gun to my head, I would pick um, Red Mercedes by Elion Melody. It's a song that I still sing to myself all the time. So uh, I can't choose anything I worked on, so no Blindfold Experience and no Arnoldo's Lizards. So I'd say Sidegeist, Absolute Monopoly by Panem, with the honorable mention of Into the Wilderness by JHM. I really like Into the Wilderness by JHM, uh, A Plus by Coastal Town, but my favorite would be Time by Ed Carrado. It's got a real uh, lush, cheap trick vibe about it. I absolutely love that song. I gotta say my favorite song from the playlist has to be Ed Eagle's Superstition because I just love the original so much and Ed did great justice to it. So, yeah, I have to go with that. Stop by Plummy. It reminds me very much of uh, You Don't Fool Me by Queen. It describes very well in how difficult and how attractive it is to be addicted to something, but also how difficult it is to get rid of it. Geez, that's a tough one. It changes all the time. But um, right now it would be uh, JHM Into the Wilderness. I think that's a pretty cool tune. What is my favorite song from the New Artist Spotlight playlist? Veronica by Plummy. My favorite song from the Nest playlist is You Can't Stop Time by Wilco Wilkes. The Blindfold Experience, yes. Strangers and Kind. The same. Yeah. Yes, very good. <laughs> my favorite song from the New Artist Spotlight playlist is Never Said Goodbye by Charles Connolly. My favorite song from NAS playlist so far is Mind Games by Tanya Cruz Bauer. It's so sweet and it's so soulful. I love her voice. I think is probably Stop by Plummy. Um, I love that track. Uh, it's on my running playlist and uh, I listen to it all the time. My favorite song of NAS playlist would have to be Take the World With Me by Rod Fritz. Question five. This should be an interesting one. If you could spend a day with any other NAS artist, who would you pick to spend a day with? 
I'm gonna cop out on this one and say all of you because if it was up to me, we'd have a big ass party and a big concert and we'd all hang out together. NAS has great people in every country. But if I was gonna name one, it would be the Newcastle United soccer hooligan, the fastest mouth in England, Wilco Wilkes. We'd have a great time. I would probably pick Wilco Wilkes. Because my best friend is British, and I know you British geezers are, are funny, funny guys. So I would probably have a blast with you. And you could show me around some bars, clubs, whatever. Good times, man. Good times. I think that would be Marble Waves. They're the ones that are closest come to what we really want to achieve. Uh, the songwriting is really, is really beautiful. And when I spoke to Elena for my own podcast, uh, I thought she was a really, really great person, and I'd be very interested to see what the rest of the group is like. It would have to be JHM as well, because, um, let's face it, he, li he lives down the road from Ed, so I reckon that the three of us could have a, have a pretty fine time drinking a few beers and uh, chilling out on the, on the veranda. <laughs> if you could spend all day with any other NAS artists, who would you pick? Probably Ed. I actually would like to choose several ones. I would pick Wilco Wilkes. Origin Cross and Andres Guazelli. I would like to know who the blocker is. Um, I would like to discover his secret identity as a superhero musician. Uh, I like the guy's blind, uh, blindfold experience. I would pick Charles Connolly, Origin Cross, JHM, and E Lion Melody. It would be Ed. I admire his passion, I admire his organizational skills and how much he cares for our community. I've got to pick Charles Connolly because I uh, message him quite a lot and he's a fellow uh, Englander and um, yeah, I'd love to um, chew the fat with him and, um, and have a, a few pints and a, and a good laugh and talk about music. Elliot Melody, because your boy needs to get abs and what's going on right now is not working for me. He could definitely get me right. Now, this is the beauty of being the producer of this show. I can just do this. Now, uh, it's you guys. Wilco, Origin, you're my podcast buddies. Now, this is the thing. I'm the producer of both this podcast and the weekly Top 20 show. So every guest every week is like my new best friend for that week. So I can't really pick any of you. Uh, so if I had to choose one, one person from NAS to, to spend my day with, it would be... NAS. So I, I would do like a, a, a big party, um, lots of live music and food and, and drinks. Yeah, that would, be, that would be awesome. We have live sound covered, so Charles, I may need a, a hand with this. Thank you guys for being a part of this, of this special edition. Wilco, Origin, back to you. So a big thank you to everyone who's taken part. Origin Cross, Ed Eagle, Andres Guazzelli, Crimson Discord, Will Joy, The Enrons, Rod Fritz, Icon Dark, Homeless Radio, Liz James, Nathaniel Hardy, Yah, and myself. Thanks again for tuning in to the North Spotlight Quick Fire 5 Special Edition episode. A big shout out to all the fans, the supporters, and the whole NAS community. We'll see you back here next time. Peace out.